don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. It's a fine morning and great, 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 great to have you guys back on the channel. So, it's another morning and we're going to talk about the Ghana football, Ghana FIFA issue. I've been bringing you updates on the issue and I have another update. Yesterday, the Ghanaian contingent went to Zurich, Switzerland and they made a final decision with, with FIFA on the way to move Ghana football forward. I'm your host, Alas Fiawe. If you're new to the channel, as usual, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell to get all notifications on this channel. So let me go right into the statement. So basically, FIFA met with gang four uh, delegates, four people from Ghana, that included led by the, the led by the sports minister, the sports minister Mr. Isaac Isiama, Honorable Isaac Isiama, and the information minister along with the head of the liaison team, Dr. Kofi Amwa. And they went to Zurich yesterday to deliberate on the best ways to move Ghana football forward. Basically, FIFA brought out a letter on Monday saying that they would have to ban Ghana because of government interference or the government's attempts to dissolve the GFA. So this is what came out. So this is the letter on your screen now. It said, outcome of meeting between Ghana government and the FIFA to discuss next step for football administration in Ghana. So on Thursday, as they are saying there, on Thursday 2018, a delegate met and this is what they resolved to do first the president of ghana and fifa have committed to work together to offer leadership in reforming football administration in ghana and in africa so that was one of the resolutions they came up with so fifa will work hand in hand with um, ghana to do that and that the government of ghana and fifa will work closely to eradicate corruption and malfeasance and other associated criminal conduct from the administration of football in Ghana. Also, government of Ghana and FIFA shall establish a joint tax force to create proper disciplinary governments, governance and auditing mechanisms, as well as ensure that persons who are found culpable are punished in accordance with Ghana domestic laws and FIFA statutes. So, basically, they are agreeing that those who have been found culpable will be punished no one is going scot free here and also fifa in consultation with government of ghana shall appoint persons with integrity and competence to constitute the membership of the normalization committee so normalization committee will see to the normalization of football back in ghana and how best they can move ghana football forward so basically and the last point here is satisfied with the above measures the government of ghana shall take steps to discontinue the process of winding up the ghana football association so ghana football association will not be dissolved it will not be dissolved the government has gone back uh, on that issue based on the recommendations or the resolutions they had with fifa in the thursday meeting so they have agreed not to dissolve the gfa the gfa is still working is still in existence and government has will proceed to withdraw their matter from court as fifa wanted them else ghana will be banned and that is at least something good the, the, the measures taken here are positive they are great for the national team for the everyone involved in football in this country and i think it will move up, take us a long way in football administration in the country people where there were comments on social media like government cave and all that we'll have a listen to what the information minister who was at the meeting said so let's have a listen to what the information minister said yesterday after the meeting sorry thank you evan i i see in the last line in the statement that uh the you, your government uh, has agreed uh to uh, discontinue the process of liquidating the gfa uh, what, what what is that based on indeed if you read that whole sentence it says that satisfied that the above listed element to be put in place um, the government will take F, uh, steps to discontinue um, the application to liquidate the Ghana Football Association and let me give you a background it's because the government is of the view that the Ghana Football Association as a vehicle was being used for a criminal enterprise following what we observed in the number 12 documentary and the application that was made to the courts now the Ghana government and FIFA initially agreed to set up a liaison team and suspend 
activities of the Ghana Football Association. As well, on our part, we went to court to get an injunction so to do. On the part of FIFA, they also injuncted the FA president. The second step was to find a permanent solution. Now, that permanent solution, we believed that we should do away with the Football Association. And FIFA explained to us that in clear reading of their laws, it means that if we do that, it will be in contravention of Article 14 and 19. So what do we do? And that's why a couple of days ago we announced that we're going to have to engage with FIFA to find a mutually acceptable way forward. And so today we have engaged with FIFA at the highest level, President Infantino, the Secretary General and his Lieutenant were all here with us uh, for this meeting. It took a number of hours, usually unprecedented because they won't even meet you. But we had clear instructions from His Excellency the President. We articulated a strong case and FIFA has agreed that they will then literally do what the government of Ghana sought to do for us so that we don't have to infringe upon their laws. In other words, they will set up the normalization committee that will take over the executive committee functions of FIFA and run Ghana football at all of its levels and also lead the way in the reforms that we are looking for. And they are going to collaborate with us in um, choosing the persons who are going to be on this normalization committee. That is the government of Ghana and CAF to collaborate with us in choosing the right persons uh, so that we are sure that we have persons of integrity, persons who are committed to running a football enterprise that is not bedeviled with uh, corruption and criminal conduct. Uh, so in the end, it's a win-win. We have succeeded uh, in getting to that point where we get a new vehicle to run Ghana football, and we have also succeeded in avoiding uh, an unwarranted ban. So what, what, it, what it means is that the GFA executive uh, committee that ran the affairs until the scandal broke will cease to exist and FIFA will then take over the appointments of these uh, individuals to constitute the normalization committee in, in consultation with the government of Ghana. Indeed, as of now, you know, the court has injuncted them. But that's only temporary. The permanent answer is that FIFA itself will appoint a normalization committee. Once that committee is appointed, they will even take over from the liaison team that is working now now to assume the full functions and act accordingly and to rule out the reforms that we have been discussing with FIFA. And in the coming days, those reforms in consultation with all of the other interested parties, club owners, Galka, etc., all of those reforms will be rolled out in the coming days. Were there timelines agreed to this? They will all be uh, announced in the coming days. This is the high-level agreement which FIFA has put out in their statement and we are grateful um, to the leadership of FIFA for uh, you know, accommodating uh, the Ghanaian requests and uh, the firm positions made by the uh, Ghanaian delegation, even to put it out at this point in time. But in the coming days, the details will come out. What would you say to the criticism that the government has agreed to discontinue the processes only because if I threatened to ban, that, ban us? I was hoping that they would realize that government, as has been written in the FIFA statement itself, has only agreed to do this because... FIFA has agreed that they will do that which we sought to do with the liquidation. I think it's a very diplomatic and uh, smart way of getting... So that was the information minister there speaking on behalf of the government. He was at the meeting. And basically, it's not that government caved or anything. And they gave them reforms and resolutions. And FIFA is basically taking up to do what they, the government, wanted to do. They are doing it in conjunction with the government, but FIFA are basically in charge now. So that is what is coming from the camp of FIFA now. I think this is a positive move and it will help everyone involved, all the stakeholders involved who wanted a positive action from FIFA. So that's it for the meeting between the FIFA liaison team and Ghana. FIFA and Ghana, I think things are resolved now. Next month, we can look forward to our friendly saying Ghana football can move forward for all our betterment of everyone else. Okay, so that's it for the update on the Ghana football issue. I've been your host, Salah Sifiawi. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.